Welcome back to the Lost Aqualine and welcome back to Plan Zoo. Today we are going to build a Californian sea lion habitat to this right spot over here. But before we do so, let's get things started and talk about what is going on in this series and what we're going to do. All right, first things first, we are back in the last Aqualine. And for those of you who might be new to the series, this is a franchise zoo in which we are going to build a zoo in a very crampy and uh, run-down Aqualand. At this point in time, it's not actually everything run down anymore uh, because we've changed a lot of things. I'm just going to quickly pause the game because we have brilliant light conditions I'm going to use for my build today. Um, but I'm going to show you around real quick just so you have an idea. So basically, um, we did already change a lot of uh, habitats but you can see there is an old one over here this has been like a pool for people to dive in but you know at this point it's all broken down run down uh, we have had a ro broken down run down a uh, little uh, pool over here this is now the capybara pool we've got this uh, old scrapyard over here where a lot of old stuff like slides and stuff are you know kind of uh, held back we uh, change a lot of things um, but you can still see some of the remainders of the old zoo that we're going or the old park i should say that we are going to utilize every now and then and we're just going to build a lot of cool things in this park today as i said we're going to build this area here we're going to make this into a california sea lion habitat and i know that many of you guys told me that this um actually should be uh, the flamingo area but I have got another idea for the flamingos and so we are going to turn this into the California sea lion habitat however um, since I got some good feedback from you guys I'm going to do certain things different now and this uh, first little cut over here which is going to happen in a couple of seconds is going to show you um, how we turn this area into the basic habitat setup and then we're going to build from there because you guys said a real-time part with a bit of cuts and uh, speed builds is quite nice to have and today I'm going to do like a little cut to keep the video shorter in total um, and whenever I say short it's still going to be half an hour anyway so <laughs> that's what we're going to do in the meantime you guys can help me out uh, lately this uh, channel has experienced basically zero to none comment that was my telephone that just rang I'm sorry for this little cut this is not the actual cut you can see that anyways if you guys want to help me out please let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite series at the moment uh, on any streaming service because I'm looking for a new series I've binge watched Stranger Things for now I've binge watched Obi-Wan so far um so yeah got a new Need a new series now please let me know down below and now it's time for the cut all right things have happened and here you can see this is the current outline of uh, the brand new sea lion habitat and i'm not quite sure if we will even meet the requirements of them in terms of space now um i oops uh, i just kind of calculated if we go in here we can see that the california sea lion needs like 200 square meters of land and 360 of um, water requirement and 170 square meters of deep water requirement now what we're going to quickly do is since I have really no idea if we will hit the requirements you can see this pathway over here um, can still be changed a little bit without actually making too many um, things wrong and what we're going to do now is we're just going to take that and in fact I also was planning to have a backstage area in here anyways because I think it might actually we do have a backstage area over here so they might make the way over um, what is going on with you by the way you just go back in here let me just unpause the game real quick so just to fix that issue good um, yeah so I'm planning on, on that but first of all before we do so I'm actually going to put down the uh, gate to the habitat now this one is a little bit tricky this time around um, because I don't want to have people going there anyways but um, I guess I can't get completely out of that issue so yeah, I'm gonna, hmm, 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 hmm. not really sure where to put it because that will not give me the you know what I'm just going to put the, the fence somewhat over here right there so we can always open up to the to the side if we need um now what we're going to do now is we're just going to place down a little wall uh which i'm going to make quite short indeed and i'm just going to grab that thing and put this in here so from what the hell happened here what the hell there you go from over here i'm just going to go with this one and i'm just going to make the length a little bit longer and then i'm just going to go all the way around uh, this area and then just like snap down here oh wait i can't okay i'm just gonna go all the way around oh that's not hmm. can i go wait a second can i connect to i hope i can connect to this thing down here 
That looked good to me. And then let me just see if I can come back up here. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, that's that's fine. That's a lot easier because I don't want to go too much out of the habitat. This is not really planned. And then from over here, it's going to go all the way here. We just go back with this one. Uh, we can actually lower that down. So why not have it on one meter already at the beginning? And then I'm just going to smooth that thing in here. Just trying to be as careful as possible here with the rotation. Hello. Okay, somehow it is... Uh, okay, I don't want to have an angled snap. There you go. No angled snappity snap for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to make that like a nice little curling curve. I'm not really sure how much space we will need, but I'm afraid that we will need some space. So I'm just going to go all the way around here already. And let's see that we can squeeze kind of a pathway in between there. Um, and then we just curl that thing around here. Okay, so there's like a bench in here. That's the benchmark, <laughs> sorry, uh, for the habitat. This one can go away. This was just like a little measurement piece. Um, and I'm, I'm going to talk about this thing a little bit more in the future because I, this is basically an idea I borrowed from uh, the Oceanographic in Valencia. Um, and we're going to build like a little chill area here in the middle, grant them some privacy in the background, which we will effectively have to do with this wall here anyhow. So let me just quickly do that already. So this is going to be the background of them. Two and a half meters should be fine-ish. There you go. Bring that down to what it needs to be. There you go. And the wall is that. And then we just need to change these pillars in between. I quite like some of the versions we could use here. Not all of them work. Is it only the wooden one? Oh, okay. Whatever. So if you use the wooden ones, at least the concrete looks like one entire piece, which I like quite a bit. And then you can just choose the whole thing and then make the color you want. I actually want to go to like a very much reddish color like so. Maybe desaturated. Yeah, that is kind of nice. Let's make that a bit more like so. Yeah, why not? Why not? This is this is kind of neat. And then not quite sure what we will do with this. But anyways, what does the habitat tell us in terms of terrain? So land area is 472, 600 and uh, 900, okay, six, nearly 700 water area and average water depth is 3.5 meters. Um, which is a good indication, to be honest. Um, I have forgotten what they actually need. Um, deep water requirement is... But does it tell me if it's 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter? No, it doesn't. Okay, let me just tell you this and this. And oh my god, okay. So that is nearly hit, which is good. This is hit, which is good. Okay, so we could make it... Um, but the deep water requirement will be a little bit, or the, the water requirement in general will be a bit tricky. Um, but to test that, I think we just get them in before we go on um, to make... Uh, oh, okay, well, I thought we can squeeze a path in here, but we obviously cannot. So I'm just going to bring... Uh, sorry, excuse me. I want to go all the way around. That's not nice. It's not beautiful, but we will we will change that later on. Um, okay, I got some of them. Let me see if there's a male available at this point. No. God, did I just... No, it... <sighs> okay, like, I, I do have some of them already in here. Uh, recent all filters. And I got them. There's one of the Californian sea lions. Where's the other ones? I got three if i remember correctly yeah there's the third one i think i don't have another one from another zoo do i no i guess i don't okay now let's send them into this habitat and then we'll see from here and uh, you can see that at least i mean in this habitat obviously there's not that big of an issue but we can see everything is kind of filled nicely the land area is a little bit problematic um but we are going to fix that so first of all i'm just going to quickly do what i wanted to do this is pretty much open as i wanted it but 
But, 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 we need to do one thing, and this is going to be a little floaty island in the middle. So, um, again, this is this is purely taken from the Oceanographic in Valencia, and I love how they did this, and so I'm just basically doing exactly the same. Um, so they get, like, a little island here in the middle. I'm just going to keep that one first one low, and then from over here, I'm going to make, like, two higher platforms. It's going to be that one. And another one to the other side there you go I think this is neat and what we are going to do now we are going to kind of try to give them like a ramp I'm not sure if the ramp will be enough or if we need to lower that I think we have to lower this a little bit on this side so I'm just gonna lower this one in position so I want to blend them nicely in hopefully that's gonna work somewhat like this and then let's just already put them into one building um, you can already tell that I want to try at least to keep them floating above uh, the water level so that hopefully is going to stay uh, keep our keep our friends uh, diving below that one even though we have to put something in the middle like um you know kind of some uh, you know support beams or something but in terms of making it fairly realistic I'm gonna keep it that way so there you go this is basically uh, how we started that and now it's time to just really make sure that we have like a nice little framing to that so we're gonna have like a wall to the back here you can't touch the water a little bit can not touch this na 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 can touch the water no i actually can touch the water so why this is not really an issue there you go and we can also have like a platform in the middle if we fancy doing so i really would love to see them going up here as well not sure if i can get them there so maybe I'm just going to try and push that out a little and then just try to sneak that a little bit like so again i have no idea if, if if they will get there it would be lovely if they could but um yeah i'm not sure about this so this is neat um and then to the back i want to really have that higher one here so kind of a a little bit of a nice kind of connection and then we can have something like that as well again always making sure they can dive in the middle and then in like the oceanographic it's kind of cool they have something like that in the front here and they can sit on it unfortunately i can't do this so i'm just going to keep it that way you know uh where they can have the space here and just climb on that one and then it just kind of blocks whatever is in behind so i'm just going to keep it that way um i might just have this one here in the front just as like a little styling element in which they can dive around and hopefully below so that is what we do um and i'm also willing to just kind of make this a little bit nicer by just having like a little step in there so it might look a little bit nicer i really do hope they can dive below because otherwise this is going to be a disaster in terms of uh diving space but we'll check on that now in a couple of seconds um it's always the fight of realism versus uh, the in-game requirements but uh, i think this is just something we cannot avoid anyhow so you know i'm just going to try my best here in mimicking what i have seen there because i liked it quite a lot um yeah this needs to oh god this might actually be way too high if i have it yeah, that's way too high. Unfortunately, it is. I like kind of the floaty island as it is right there. Maybe we just bring that a little bit more forward. There you go. And then I'm just going to copy that one. Again, everything should hopefully be above water level. I can just push that up a bit. I want them to be able to swim down there. Just framing that a little. And then we can actually, you know what, uh, over here, I'm just going to be brave and bring that in like so and then this is kind of the other frame that goes all the way here and again trying to make sure that it just does not take too much space away turn that around make kind of this like a little bit of a nice frame so this is where you stand then and it almost looks like as if it's, this is kind of like a little area and then we can have like also Io now. No, no, no. Using the same doesn't look good. I thought that might look good, but it doesn't. So I, you know, maybe having kind of something like that. Not sure if that's nice. Really not sure. Let me just check. I, it could look good if we put something else there, but not these right now. Um, so I'm just going to keep it that way, but I don't want to have it that color, to be honest. I want it to be a little bit more. Yeah. 
not too white -ish. there you go and this can actually be a lot more red pink kind of flesh color there you go get this a bit of an a nice color representation yeah that looks that looks really what i wanted to have it look like okay now let's hit play for a second i'm oh god i just i don't want to even see what happens that's fine i guess it looks good to me um so obviously the the navigatable swimble area went down a little bit but i think it's fairly decent though um so this is where they can swim oh my god okay i need to have this gap opened a little then because I don't, I definitely want them to be able to swim there. So let's just do that and then hit play again and see what you are doing. Okay, nice. They can still not swim through there, which is a pity. Um, let's push that back a little bit more. Oh, now it's actually back to where it was. Okay, um, let's have a little look now. Hit H. Okay, now this is awesome. Um, that works, but unfortunately, it really looks like they cannot go here. So I'm just going to delete those two. And first of all, let's have a look if that works. Because then I need to do things a little bit more different. See... Um... I can't really get up there, can they? Not really. Um, I'm not sure if that is because it's not enough in the water. Let's see if that helps if I tilt this a little bit into the water. So just have that little tilt. I mean, it, it actually looks more decent anyways, but um, let's see if that helped out a little. Okay, let's have a look. I, I remember that they had some issues uh, with the full rock. Um, and they still do have. Okay, now, as this seems to be an issue, I remember that these things were a little bit OP. So I'm just going to use those in, in hoping... Uh, that they will deliver on me in terms of making that really good and traversable for them. So I'm just going to put these in like a little roundish shape starting from over here. I really remember that they were somewhat OP, so I hope I remember correctly because otherwise I'm just kind of doomed with this idea of making them go up here. But I remember that they have been, maybe they're even like not programmed but designed to be steps like that, you know, that they bring them up here. I don't know. I just want to see if they do interact with these now in a better way. Let's see. It also looks kind of neat, not gonna lie, but let's have a look. Yeah, it really doesn't change that much, to be honest. Uh, excuse me? Are you doing good in that rock? <laughs> okay, <laughs> not sure. Okay, um, what about deleting this thing and bringing that one down a fair bit? Uh, it's a pity guys, it's a pity. I'm not sure if I can get this done, but let's see what happens if we do that. It's just like trial and error, you know. I really wish that would just be a lot more easy to do, but okay. I'm just going to do that exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really, really worried why this isn't working. Oh, man, okay. Let me just try to rearrange that a little. And then... Just sink them in a bit more and then turn that thing around. Come on, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do that. You can do that. It's better. It's not perfect quite yet, but it's better. I'm not sure if it's because of that thing. Let's just try that first. We can always fix this. And um, yeah, no, it doesn't change really much. Okay, so we can keep that one there. Hello, what are you guys doing? What's your issue? Oh my god, they're just because of Isa there. Yeah, there's like one wind penguin that is again in one space that it didn't want to be, I guess. Because it has born, been born there. Okay, um, let me just quickly do that. I don't want to have them here at this point. Um, let's go to Isa. Where is she? Where is Isa? Oh no, this is not you. But Isa is... Where are you? Isa? Hello? Hello? Are you Isa? Is, is this you? This is Isa. Okay, so let's move Isa. I think she's just not able to go outside. This might be the issue. Why already? I, I remember that there was that little issue, but I don't know. Yeah, let them just move there. I don't care. Um, okay, I'm not going to turn uh, to take that much more time with this because honestly that just takes up time 
Um, and yeah, I'm not sure why this doesn't work, but it's okay. Okay, let's go back and uh, add some more sand to the entire habitat. Um, in fact, what do we need? So grass short is still too much, rock is too much. Um, so we just need sand, is that correct? I guess it is. So we're just going to make everything sand and everything should be fine. I'm just going to do it that way. Nice. Um, now let's go with the sand. Fine. And just bring this to the background here. Neat. And I'm just going to add a little bit of rock here to make that a little bit more nice. And then, well, we can mix some soil in if we feel like doing so. It's not like too special there, but okay. And then let's go to plants. We don't really have that many plants available for them. But a couple of those might be nice to have. So I definitely want to have like a beech tree in here. This one can be here to the side. Gives a bit of greenery to the habitat. And then obviously we have some reed we could use here just to make these sides look a bit more nice. Um, you know, you can use the random rotate. No, not random all. Just the random rotation, please. There you go. There you go. They're not so needy when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, plants. So I'm just going to be putting some down. Uh, we don't need water lilies, though. They just do not fit in this habitat anyways. Um, I like some of those fake kind of palm trees because they would look good in here because they're fake anyways. Like, they look fake, so we can imagine they are fake. Um, have another lovely little one here to the side. Just, you know, imagining that these ones were fake. I mean, in-game, they're not fake, just to be precise, but they kind of look like, so that's what we do. And we actually have a birch tree. Hmm. I wonder if we should put a birch tree in here. I mean, that fits our area. So we can just put that in. Nice. And do we have some ground coverage here? Just some simple, some lovely little lady fern uh, here to the sides. Just not too much. Just a little bit, you know. There you go. That's all we need. That's all we need for that. And now we go to four rocks again. Uh, let's reset all the filters. Gonna use these small ones. Gonna make the same color as we had with the same lovely little appearance. And what we do do is we're just going to put them in here. I'm just going to use a little trick, guys. So I'm, oops, I'm, I'm just going to show you something, how you can make like a very natural looking area that is not going to take up too much of your traversable area. It looks a lot better in no time. And uh, it'll provide you also with some cool little things uh, to look at from, you know, guest perspective. So that makes things always a lot more easy. Um, you place down things like this just with the run, random rotation. Then you, you can also do random rotation all because what we do now requires exactly this. Because if you put down these things, uh, they will almost like stand up. But if you use the, actually, the problem I just had is the align to surface. So you can always use that one and then you just lower them down whatever the rotation gives you, you know. Just use the rotation all and then you just try your best in kind of putting them in sp spaces where it works. There you go. You know, I, I tend to use it that way. It's just kind of easy to have them also lying down without making it look too repetitive. And then you can always use like different ones here and there. And what I like to do then, just to show you how it works, um, I just like to kind of select all these things, you know, like this, because that just looks not really exactly the way I wanted it to look now. And then you just lower that down until it just peaks down here, like a little bit. Nice. See, that's so really how cool it can look. Then you go to rock, make it fairly small, and then just click a few times. Uh, that would have been a little bit too much already just so that you have a little bit of shading in between so it looks like the stones would cast some light and so on you know just just a little bit there you go and already you have some details in there like fairly simple nothing crazy nothing special really that simple um and yeah we're almost done already what we can do now is we can just click on one of these fellows over here say enrichment items food speed oh we can't click on that i thought we can okay let's go to habitat and then we type in sea lion we say off and then i'm, I'm guessing this one has no space again oh it has i can Oh my god, can I have even four? Oh my god, look at that. I have four lines available. 
Can I, or can I get this to two lines at least? Oh, I can even get it to three lines. Perfect. Three lines is almost like sea lines, so it can only be good. Um, then we've got like a proper ball. Um, we're going to put this ball here somewhat-ish. Uh, gonna have uh, this one. Goes here. Like a little thing. Got some water. Like this. There you go. Some fishies. And I think this is almost ready, and um, I'm just going to hit play now. There will be some little things I'm just going to do, so I'll be back with you in a minute to make something special. All right, last things uh, last, I, I just kind of fixed a lot of things, uh, and this is the final result of the habitat. I'm just going to quickly uh, hit pause, because uh, the, the sun is, uh, I think, what time is it, though? Is it is it early in the morning? Oh, it's early in the morning, so we can actually speed up the whole thing, uh, just to see what happens uh, once everything everything is going on. Okay, I don't care about that. Um, just to get some more light in. There's our male sea line I just got. Uh, we can finally check things and it seems to be all okay. Cleanliness is a little bit of an issue because we have no uh, keeper assigned quite yet. But other than that, guys, the habitat is done. The only thing I want to fix is this situation with the traversable area here. I have certain ideas, but you know, I'm not going to bother you uh, in this video with that because that would take ages and oh my god, Look at, look, I just, I still am a big fan of the diving mechanic when it works. And uh, we, we still have to put some pillars down here um, to make sure that this is some, some actual thing. This might not be floating, but uh, for the moment being, I oh, just, I love how this looks. I just really love how this cozy little area here looks. I think it really looks like a, a nice little sea lion thing. Um, we will do a lot of more wall building here in the back. I want to use some more uh, four rocks to build like an, a proper wall in the background. I think that will look even better. And we definitely have to do the uh, underground viewing as well. I think I didn't even talk about that at all. Uh, but yeah, we also got an underground viewing, which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, other than that, this is it for today's episode. I really hope you guys loved it. Um, I certainly loved it a lot, uh, finally playing again this game after a busy week. And if you did like it, please uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Put a comment down again. doesn't really matter what. Just help me to spark the algorithm a little to, to you know, put it back into uh, the memory of the algorithm. That would be lovely. And now I wish all of you a happy weekend. There's a lot more coming in the next coming days. I finally had time to do some content again. So I'm looking forward to having you here. And also have a good weekend ahead. Stay safe and goodbye.